Z from Chicks Tech Reviews. So I have another native full HD LED video projector to check out on the channel. This one is called the On Aki 6 LED video projector. So this is a native 1080p projector which has some unique features including horizontal and vertical keystone correction which means you can have this projector at a slight angle left or right and it will still give you a straight image. So first of all inside the box you will find a user manual, some gimmicky old school 3D glasses which I'm definitely not going to be testing out, a small remote control is included in the box powered by two AAA batteries, you're getting an HDMI cable, a three millimeter to RCA cable, which is good for your old school connections. So with this cable, you'll be able to hook up your VCR, camcorder, old PS2, Nintendo Wii, etc. A power cable, and I also got a UK adapter included. So last but not least, the projector itself. So this is an LED video projector. Energy efficiency is 150 watts. Lamp life is 30,000 hours. Brightness is 6,800 lumens. You've got a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. This projector supports horizontal and vertical keystone correction. You have a contrast ratio of 2000 to 1. Maximum optimal screen size is 200 inches. You've got HDMI input so you can hook up your favorite game console or TV box and you've got built-in hi-fi stereo speakers. Now, the projector has an interesting design. It's made completely from plastic. It's finished in white with a fabric gray mesh on the front. You've also got that same fabric mesh on the back. Now, on the front of the projector, you've got the on logo, along with navigational controls and power button. Now, on the front, you have your lens cover, which you can just take off and you will see your lens. And on the top, you have your focus adjustment and keystone correction so you can achieve the best picture quality possible. Now on the side, you've got some ventilation. On the back of the unit, you've got your power socket, VGA port. You've got two USB ports so you can run multimedia directly off USB. You've got an infrared port for your remote control, 3.5 millimeter AV port and headphone jack. So if you didn't like the built-in speakers, you have the option to connect your own speaker system or headphones. If we keep going, we've got two HDMI inputs on the side. And I really do like when projectors have the HDMI inputs on the side. It just makes things a lot more convenient. So yeah, you'll be able to connect your favorite game console, PlayStation 4, PS3, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, or your favorite Android TV box or Fire TV stick directly to this port. And you'll be able to enjoy that on a massive 200 inch screen. You've also got a full size SD card slot, so you can run your multimedia directly off SSD. You've got more ventilation over here and along the bottom. And that brings us back to the front of the projector. And this is what the bottom of the projector looks like. So there is a screw over here, which will give you some elevation should you need it. You've got some tripod screw threads over here, which will allow you to ceiling mount this projector to give you a proper home cinema setup in your own home. So without any further ado, I am going to get this projector all set up. We are going to connect it to my PlayStation 4 and we're going to check out some big screen console gaming. And we are going to find out exactly how good this projector really is. I'll be right back. Now we've got the projector all set up and we are roughly three meters away from the wall in front of us. And we are projecting around 95 inches. So the first thing I test is of course the fan noise. So moving one meter away from the projector, here is my sound meter. So you can expect around 45 decibels of fan noise with this projector. Now the remote control responsiveness is good. I am aiming at the projection and you can see the remote control working absolutely fine. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the source to HDMI 1 and you can see HDMI 1 has the Google Chromecast Ultra plugged in and there's another HDMI plugged in and that actually leads to my old dusty PlayStation 4 waiting to be replaced by a PlayStation 5. So anyway, let's begin with the Chromecast Ultra. I am going to switch off the light. Okay, got my smartphone ready and what I'm going to do is cast some YouTube trailers to the big screen. So we're streaming in 1080p quality on YouTube. So I've just paused the video. I'm going to briefly switch that light back on. Look at that image quality, even with the light on. Now, while I have a close up, I'll zoom right in. I'm going to switch the light off as well. Watch this. Wow. Lights off, lights on. Lights off, lights on. So whether the light is on or off, you can expect an amazing 
1080p native video quality. So the projection quality going all the way around is really good. The edges, the corners, everything is spot on. Now let's go ahead and play a few more trailers and see how it handles. You can either tell me what really happened or you can squander this precious opportunity. Well, if you could just do the same, we could press reset. I don't have anything to apologize for. to move on to some gaming and we're going to begin with Google Stadia game streaming. some PlayStation 4. Under two minutes to go. We have back and forth first round here. Wow! This could be it right here. And he winds up on top. Back up again.
isolation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. So there you have it guys, that was the On A Key 6. Now this is a native 1080p projector priced under $200 and it gives you a pretty impressive performance for the price. Now you are getting excellent clarity and brightness. The projector is actually good enough to use in the daytime, but ideally the best experience will be in a dark room. Now there is no pixelation up close, even when projecting above 130 inches. Fan noise is just slightly on the louder side at 45 decibels from a one meter distance. It's not bad once you start playing your content, but you will definitely hear the fan noise throughout. Now the built-in speakers are surprisingly decent quality, loud and clear, with no distortion even on max. Now before I bring up the chart ranking, I noticed a lot of similar 1080p projectors now selling at very competitive prices, so I decided to do a few head-to-head -head comparisons in this video to bring a bit of clarity in the rankings. So first of all, we have the On A Key 6 versus the UUO P6. Now both projectors are paused on the same video clip. You can see the A key 6 has much better contrast and colors. The UUO P6 looks oversaturated and the brightness looks excessive. But you can of course customize the brightness and colors from settings. But at their default settings, this is the quality you can expect. And I will now play the videos so you can see for yourself and get a better idea. No. Now the next comparison is the A key 6 versus the Vivibrite F40. Now the Vivibrite has been dominating the top of the charts for quite a while now and both projectors are playing at their default settings. And as you can see the A key 6 gives you greater detail and much brighter and vibrant colors. Now I will play the video and let you guys see for yourselves. So that brings us to the top video projector chart for 2020, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And as you can see, the new A key 6 has earned its position at number 4 on this chart. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Bottom line, if you're looking for your first full HD home projector for your movies and gaming action and don't want to spend more than $200, then I highly recommend the On A key 6. In fact, for this price, it's actually quite amazing how good the projection quality is. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.